Today I want to talk about something that has always fascinated me. Entropy and the direction of time. Why is it that time always seems to move in one direction, from the past to the future? Is it because there's an inherent force that drives it this way? Or is it something deeper? As I began to dive deeper into this, I realized that time, as we understand it, isn't really a tangible thing. It's not something that exists by itself. What we perceive as time is actually just a direction the universe follows. It's the flow of events, the progression of energy, the unfolding of the universe itself. Let me give you an example. Think about dropping something. When you release it, what happens? It falls, right? The energy that was stored in it as potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. But there's something else that happens too. Some of that energy is lost as heat, dissipating into the surroundings. This is the first clue to understanding time's direction. Now, if I were to give back the same energy, could that object go back to its original height? Would it return to the exact same state? Well, according to the law of energy conservation, the total energy remains constant. But the way it's distributed, the way it flows, is not reversible. The object won't go back to where it started, because energy flows in one direction, leading to more disorder and chaos. This is where entropy comes into play. Entropy is the measure of disorder, and the universe naturally moves toward higher entropy. It's the reason things fall apart over time. As energy spreads out, disorder increases. It's like how our own cells, DNA, and proteins eventually break down, how everything slowly moves toward a state of maximum disorder. That's where the concept of time comes in. As our bodies age, we feel the passage of time because our cells are becoming more disordered. The universe, in a similar fashion, will one day reach a point where everything reaches its maximum state of disorder. This is the point of death for everything in existence, be it a living organism or the universe itself. But here's the interesting part. There's a theory called the Big Bounce that suggests every end of a universe leads to the creation of a new one. But that's not entirely true. Every new universe that forms is even worse off than the last one. Just like the different ages in history, each new era is worse than the one before it. So, there is an end to this universal cycle of life and death. At some point in time, the universe will reach a stage where time will no longer have any direction. There will be no more chaos, no more energy to disperse. Time will come to a halt, and the universe will cease to exist as we know it. This is the ultimate end, the point where everything, even time itself, reaches its final state. 